like to welcome you to another episode of Bella Uncinetto. Uh, please, if you are new to my channel, uh, hit the like button. That helps YouTube's analytics know that people enjoy watching my videos. Um, I also noticed while watching my videos that I say um a lot. So I'm going to work on that. Can't promise it's going to be this video, but I'm going to work on it. Now that I notice, I can try to fix it. Because it annoyed even me. I don't know if it bothers any of you, but it bothered me. So today, we are going to talk about yarn. Specifically, yarn that I found at Dollar Tree and at Hobby Lobby. None of it was the dye lot clearance because when I went to one Hobby Lobby near me, I talked to the lady kind of in charge of the yarn. She's not like the store manager, but I think she's like the yarn area manager. And she told me that if the dye lot number needed to be clearanced out, but it looked exactly the same, that they didn't have to clearance it out. So unless there was a big, big difference in the color, she didn't clearance it out. So there wasn't really a whole lot there for her to clearance out. That's the way she explained it to me. <clears throat> Excuse me. So this one Hobby Lobby really didn't have a whole lot. There is another Hobby Lobby that gets their next truck in later this week. So today is August 12th, 2021. And I'm going to go later in the week to see if that Hobby Lobby has any dialogue clearance. I don't know. Maybe I'll get luckier in that store. So while I was at Hobby Lobby, I did find dun, 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 this, right? This is, I love this yarn, mini skeins. And uh, Kim from Affordably Crafty showed one of these Saturday on her Affordably Geeky Live with the Yarn Geek. And I went... And before I saw her other video where she actually described this, right, I found it at my Hobby Lobby and purchased it. I did get the 30% off, so I did not pay the $24.99 for it. But it is, and I have not opened it yet, because I was waiting, but it is 21 skeins of lovely little yarn. They're all acrylic because it is I Love This Yarn. So each one, so I'm not going to go over the specs on all of them, but each one is, where'd it go? It's really tiny. Whoa, it's really tiny. Sorry, it's really, really small. Uh, 25 grams and 42 yards. So it recommends, it is a four weight. So it recommends a US 9 or 5.5 millimeter hook. Wow, that is really tiny. I don't know if y'all can even read that. It's hard for me to read, even with my glasses. Wow. Yeah, and then knitting needles, a US size 8, a 5 millimeter so if you haven't watched um, Affordably Crafty, came at Affordably Crafty, the video where she shared this, uh, I suggest you go watch it, but I will also tell you the colors. Uh, it's all the same colors. So this is Sun Gold, which is a really pretty yellow. And then this one is Orchid. And Brown. <laughs> Let's see. I'll speed it up a little bit. I know you guys told me my videos were... Well, some people emailed me and told me my videos were a little long. I mean, I'm talking about yarn, so I feel like they're going to be long, but that's just me. This is Gray Mist. This kind of reminds me of the color of some of the fog in some of the King Arthur... Uh, Avalon movies. 
right? The Mists of Avalon. Sorry. <laughs> uh, Dark Olive. And then we have a Light Sage. It does kind of remind me of my sage plant outside. The garden sage, though, not because I also have two different kinds of sage. One is pineapple sage, and one is garden sage. Then a turquoise. And then I'll just quickly go over the other colors. Buttercup. Light pink. No, light peach. Uh, burnt pumpkin. That one's pretty. Grape. <laughs> Rosy cheeks. Sorry, some of these are bringing back like book title memories uh, because I'm also a teacher. Uh, taught, I've taught English for a number of years. And so when I see names that aren't like purple, red, blue, turquoise, green, right, it gives me. I always go back to literature in my head. I guess it's what you know, right? So that's Royal Soft Blue. And I know Red Heart Super Saver has a Royal as well. And it's pretty close to color. Pretty close to the same color. Forest, although much softer. I love this yarn. is much softer. <laughs> soft Pink. Cranberry. Ooh, that's a deep, deep, deep color. That's so pretty. Oh, it won't focus. 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 Ah, it's not going to focus. It's not my friend today. Yellow. Amethyst. And Toasted Almond. Now you want to focus. All right. So, that is that. And it's super exciting. And I can make lots of little things or I can tie this in with different items for a little some little pops of color and projects I mean there's all kinds of things that you can do with this do I think it's worth the full price um, not necessarily because it's $25 and you get 21 small skeins of yarn is it worth $17.99, I think, which is the 30% off? Maybe that's less than a dollar a piece, but still, I mean, it'll be fun to play with though. I do know that it'll be fun to play with. And if there are colors that I want, I can always either go online or go to my local Hobby Lobby and, and get some. So then the other things that I got there... And I don't know if this yarn is new, new, but it's new to me, new. I've never seen it. So if you've seen it, let me know. If you've worked with it, let me know. This is Comfy Classic. It's so soft. It's by Yarn B. Uh oh. There. Can you see it? And this is burgundy and I also got it in granite navy although this is coming up a little bit more black in the camera this is a really dark blue and then ocean water so I got these because I want to make some scarves with it because it is stretchy and I think that that would be good you know to put around or not scarves cowls I think that would be good to put around uh, your neck because I'm a very tight crocheter very tight so sometimes I have to add rows or add stitches at the end of a project because mine doesn't measure out to the proper size so it's hard sometimes, uh, so uh, sometimes a little stretchier fabric will go a long way for me because I can do the project in a better, more true to, to gauge. So I think these are really, they're so, so soft. What are they made out of, you ask? I will tell you. 48% viscose, 30% polyester, and 22% nylon. 
It's 150 yards or 138 meters, 3.5 grams, 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. I'm sorry. Uh, and it was on the 30% off. So 30% off at $3.99. And I got two of each color. So the color, the four colors that I showed you, I got two of each of those. Because I'm going to mix and match. I think that the burgundy will go well with the navy or the granite. And the uh, ocean water will go well with the navy or the granite. So I can pair them together in different ways. Then I, and I know that this type of yarn is not new, but I had not seen these colors before at my Hobby Lobby. Maybe, I don't know. I just hadn't seen them. So I think they're more fall colors. So this is soft and sleek, low pill fiber. And this is in, where is it? Windswept Wishes. I just thought that was so pretty. The way the stripes are. I think those are really pretty colors together. Uh, it is a four weight. Oh, I didn't tell you the weight of the other one. This one's a four weight as well. And it is 114 grams or four ounces, 186 yards or 170 meters. And it is 100% low pill acrylic. It says to use five millimeter knitting needles, which is a U.S. size eight or a six millimeter crochet hook, which in the U.S. is a size J10. And the reason why they do that, uh, many of you that are watching may already know this, but hook sizes are different in like the UK uh, and part, you know, Europe and other parts of the world than they are in the U S so how they label their hooks is different. So the way that they put it on there for the U S is in those, those numbers or those letters. And then they use the, the metric system pretty much for the rest of the world because we don't use the metric system. It's a whole nother conversation. So if you don't know, the low pill just means that when you wash it or after a lot of wear, it won't create those fuzzies that you have to like pull off or cut off so that the, those are called pills and you won't have to, to do that. So I got this one and then I had never seen this one before either. So sparkly. This is going to make great ear warmers and uh, hats. So it's the same specifications except for it's not 100% acrylic it's 99% acrylic and 1% metallic polyester and this is in the color silver sparkle that. and the sparkles don't come off they are spun around if you can see that they are spun around the yarn so maybe as you're picking up your stitches it could come apart a little bit, kind of like some of the things that are wound up around baby yarn, but we'll see. So I got those and then I got, I know this is a new yarn. This is the Pima Suprema. And they were all coming apart. I don't know why, but I don't, it's fine. I'll kick them up before I use them anyway. So this is 100% Pima cotton, 180 yards or 165 meters, 3.5 grams or 100, 3.5 ounces or 100 grams. Uh, and you use a size I, 9 or 5.5 mil, 5 .5 millimeter hook and a size 8 or 5 millimeter knitting needles. And this is in the color charcoal. And then I also got it in French Navy and Marmalade. I don't know if you can see that. I'm trying to see if you can see, but without putting my eyes in there so it'll focus. And then they didn't have a lot of colors in the Pima cotton. And I wanted a brown. They didn't have a brown. So I know this is definitely not new, but I got an I Love This Cotton in brown because I wanted to pair it with the marmalade. 
So I know it's a different kind of cotton, but the I Love This Cotton is fairly soft. So if I'm blending it together, just in the feel, there's not a large amount of difference. So if I do like a couple of rows of one color and then a couple of rows of another color, you won't feel a, a huge texture difference. And if you don't know that they're different kinds of cotton, you wouldn't really be able to note the difference. So I wish they had a brown in the Pima cotton, but they didn't. Not in my Hobby Lobby. Uh, I'll check at the other one that's a little bit further away from me and see, but who knows. So that was it for Hobby Lobby. And again, I got two of each of these uh, to mix and match. And then I went to Dollar Tree. And if you notice, my beautiful blue cabinet is on the side of me now. And I have this large uh, wooden cabinet behind me. And I'm going to do a whole nother video on that because I found these wonderful totes. And inside of the this cabinet, the top has shelves and the bottom has kind of like these little nooks and crannies, but the middle is completely open. So to stack yarn in there, hard. I don't want to put shelves in there because I really like the nice open space and it has a little pull out thing that I plan on using as like a crafting space. So I got these totes. I got nine of them. And I'm going to try to organize the yarn in them so that I can work around and I'll have yarn all around me while I work. So I, I got nine of these at Dollar Tree. So that was, they were a dollar a piece. And then they had some colors of the Just Yarn worsted that I had not seen yet. And this is 131 yards or 120 meters, 100% acrylic, 2.11 ounces or 60 grams. This is the color teal. And then the same specs in the color orchid. And again, it's all falling apart. But I thought these looked really pretty together. And I have some other Just Yarn that I've gotten previously that I can uh, work with as well. And I got four of each of these. Um, it's not a lot of yards, but uh, it is a four. So it will, it will make, this will make, for me, this will make an ear warmer or most of an ear warmer, depending on the stitches that I'm using. And if I put two of them together, do, do, do two different colors, uh, not hold the yarn together, but do two different colors, it will definitely make an ear warmer or a hat or something. So that is all that I had for today's video. If you have any comments or questions, uh, any suggestions for content, definitely let me know. You can put them in the comments below or you can send me an email at bellauncinettocrafts at gmail.com. It's also listed in the description box below. And please don't forget to like this video, share it if you're able, subscribe, which is the bell on the right hand side, and the thumbs up button is on the left. So if you wouldn't mind doing that, I would appreciate it. That's all for now. I hope you have a wonderful day, night, afternoon, whatever time it is you're watching this, and whatever part of the world you're in. Ciao, Bella.